Hello, this is April and today I have three updos for you to wear to the office. This is April with Easy Curly Hairstyles on a mission to promote curl confidence for all the curly girls out there by giving you tips and tricks to maintain gorgeous healthy curls every day. And part of that is having hairstyles so that you have them in your toolbox and use them whenever you need to, especially when you're getting ready for work. So I have some really quick styles for you. This is a two minute one, obviously a simple French twist with and my new favorite barrette from Nordstrom. I'll put all the information in the description below. This is actually a bun with the ends clipped down. So you see the really cute semicircle on top, the clip and then the ends down. So it takes a minute to do, really lovely. This is a messy French twist, which I wear all the time. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. It's really romantic looking, yet dress it up with a great pair of earrings, put on your makeup, and it looks fabulous. Have a little hairspray, and you're ready to go. Uh, one of my favorites, though, is this really elegant and beautiful three vertical bun hairstyle. So let me just show you a little bit of the details. It's three sections with three little buns all down the back of the head. And I'll show you how to do this. It looks like it's going to be complicated, but I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks to master this. So this is in real time, so you can see that this can be done in less than 10 minutes even with all the time the extra time I'm taking to show you all of the particular tips and tricks to get this right so I had put on the photo of this on Instagram and then had some comments that that their look didn't turn out that right so I knew I had to put together all the information with everything I do and so the first step is to create the three sections for the buns and then we'll work on uh, perfecting the details of the style but the first section is going to be sort of in the center of your forehead you just um, take that top area and then I wrap that with a tiny um, little hairband I'm using three small thin hairbands that match my hair and then I'm also going to use um, a few bobby pins. I would recommend about three to six bobby pins for the finishing touches of this style. But right now we're just doing the sectioning to make sure we get the placement right before we set it down. And I'm gonna wrap it two times and I'm gonna show you what that does wrong and how we're going to fix that. The second section is from above the ear um, straight to the back of your head and then we're just going to um, put that section away. Now the final section, the bottom section, um, you want to try to make this bun as high as possible, as close to the middle bun as you can. So because this could easily go wrong if you um, pin the bun too low at the nape of your neck. So make sure this is as high as possible. And um, you'll see that when I tie these around too tight, it actually makes the bun stick out too far um, from my head. So I'll show you a side view so you can see what I mean. So if this happens to you, you'll know. Um, see how the buns are sort of popped out. You can see the part lines on the side. So this isn't a fail, we're just going to perfect this. So I'm seeing that the middle section needs to be higher, but also I need to pull out some hair from that top section and add it to the middle section. And so this top section is not going to be two straight lines all the way to the back of the head. It's actually going to be a triangle portion of your hair. So right above your two eyes, that's the widest part of the triangle. And then you're going to, the thinner point of the triangle is going to go towards the back of the head. So you see I'm pulling out some of the hair from this top section and then I'm going to add that to the second section. 
and that helps to conceal any part lines in this hairstyle. So you can see the, how thin the little hair tie is. And I'm still gonna wrap it a couple of times so that you can see um, what I mean about the bun popping out too much. See how this bun is really visible um, sticking out, but I'm gonna show you how to lay those down for a really soft, elegant look. And so for the second bun again, I wanted to put it as high as possible, as close to that top bun. And you really wanna position the top bun where you think it looks best from the, so look in the mirror and see, you don't want it just straight on the top of your head, sort of at the crown of your head. For me, that's where I think the volume looks best. It's most um, elegant um, looking in that position. So that's gonna be the starting point for the rest of the hairstyle. So you start with that bun placement and then all the second bun and the third bun are all gonna be as close together as possible. So see how the buns are all sticking out too far? That can be a really cute sporty look though. I'll have to work on that as a new sporty hairstyle. But what I'm gonna do is from here, now that I've got all the part lines have disappeared, now I'm going to set the buns. And so I'm going to rewrap them and I do leave a little bit of the ends out. That's what give it gives it this effortless, chic look, messy bun look, because I do leave a little bit of those ends out. So I, I only, um, I wrapped the hair tie around just once, so I didn't even twist it another time. So it's super loose at this point. Um, look at the top one again. All I do is just plop it on. That's it. It's very loose, but this is where I'm gonna use the bobby pins to pin down those buns and they'll be nice and flat and soft. So again, this is less than 10 minutes. I didn't speed anything up or cut anything out, super simple. And since this is a really soft hairstyle, it doesn't really mess up your curl pattern. So you can still do a completely different style the next day, just take it out before sleeping and you'll be ready to refresh it um, the next day. So I'm just seeing where I'm going to pin these with the bobby pins to show you. Just make sure they're up and close together. So I pin the first one. The second one was falling out a little bit there, so I'm just gonna rewrap that, leave the little ends out, put the thin hair tie on one time so that disappears underneath the bun. You can't even see it. And then just pin um, with the wavy side down. Um, the bottom of the bun, just hook the bottom hairs of the bun to, um, you know, to the scalp, to the hair on the scalp. And that's how you um, hide the bobbies underneath the bun. And this one, there is a little bit too, min too much of the ends hanging down at the bottom. And so what I'm going to do is just twist those up into a different position. And here I only use three bobby pins on the right side. And so what I would recommend is putting um, a bobby on either side of each of the buns for more security and hold for the rest of the day. Because it's still a really soft hairstyle, hair you know, it's not tight at all. But again, it's secure, it's not loose. It's not going to fall out because you've got those bobby pins. So then just with my fingertips, I'm just going to rake the edges. And you can see there's, you can't see any part lines whatsoever. I'm gonna pull out a little bit of the hair above my ears for a soft look. And then just a bit of finishing hairspray. This is just some flexible hold hairspray and it, it has a really nice scent to it too, which I love. And then I'm just, um, also raking that in so it, I love the way that distributes the hairspray and kind of um, adds a little bit of clumping effect to the hair so it just doesn't, 
It just makes it look a little more combed or brushed back. So this is it, the final look. I'm gonna show you all the angles so you can see the three buns and how this side view looks. So it's really pretty, I think, from every angle, from the front, the side, the back. Dress it up with some gorgeous earrings, put on your makeup, very professional, very elegant. I've used this many, many times. So let me know what you think about these three updos for curly hair. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe so I can keep making these videos for you. Here's to being curly every day. Love you.